when you, the both of you, uh, come to Salzburg, what are the places you love to see here? Uh, well, I mean, we love to see the castle. I'm here with my husband and our two girls who are 10 and 12, and uh, I think this is a, just a beautiful fairy tale city with the castle on the hill and the river and the cathedrals. So, um, and, and my girls always say, oh, there's the Festung. Oh, when, when do we get to go and look at it again and walk through it? And there, there's so many beautiful places here. How about you? For me, it's the, the landscape the architecture and the food, and they're all about equal. <laughs> okay, so what's your favorite dish talking about food? Mm. You know, I grew up with my sisters cooking, and, and so they were cooking Austrian-style food. We had knödel and all sorts of things like this. Um, and so it's great fun for me to, to have those flavors again. Uh, I like uh, Kaiser Schmarrn, I, mm. um, but just in general, the food, and mm -hmm. the Geschmäcke. <laughs> okay. Is it the, sa the salads? The salads I are wonderful. Are we favorite the for vegetables, salads? The little yeah. vegetables the and little salads. Oh. Vegetable salads. The little vegetable salads and uh, so forth, and the, yeah. the dressings are yeah. special sort. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And the architecture of the city is, is so mm -hmm. wonderful. And uh, then if you look at the mountains all around, it makes it all perfect. And do you actually do the Sound of Music tour, like the touristic tour? No. Never. I did with my girls, and we had a wonderful time. I must admit, we did not tell people who we were until halfway through the tour, um, because I was trying to make it my own private time with my family, so it's a it's a blend of how to do that, um, and it was really fun because it's a, it's doing the Sound of Music tour is also getting a tour of the city and the countryside, um, so it was fun. I, I don't think we, no, my girls probably sang along with all the songs. <laughs> and what happened when you told the other tourists that who you actually are? Oh, they were amazed amazed and some people get some tear get a little teary because it's been um, very special to them and their families through many years um, but also the diversity of people and the different nationalities of everybody that came was really interesting to see mm -hmm. do you have an explanation uh, for the fact that the sound of music is so popular in the US and but not many Austrians have seen the movie or even know about the story um, yeah, the, the film was dismissed as uh, Hollywood kitsch <laughs> here. Uh, and uh, I think that one reason what, that it wasn't successful initially was that it had a very bad translation. Um, so that, I think, has been corrected now. Oh, so you mean that in German it wasn't it wasn't the a good the, story. the stage play um, had a, a very bad uh, and and the film likewise had had very bad dubbing. Norddeutsche Aussprache und schlechte Übersetzung. So it doesn't quite go. With and the it Austrians. didn't fit at all. I don't know who dreamed that up because the rest of the film has been so professionally done and so well done. But uh, mm -hmm. I just learned this last night, so I, I haven't had a chance to verify it, but that's what I was told. Mm -hmm. It's your all right. The, your sister, Maria von Trapposborn uh, at Ehrenhof in yeah. Tellamsee, have you been to this place? I have. Mm -hmm. And how, how do you feel when you get there? You know, I, I had no tremendous emotional connection to it, but Maria was very emotional. Um, I was with her on her last visit there. Okay. Uh, I think she also, she always said it was one of her favorite places in the world, or her favorite place. She, that's right. She, she always yes. spoke of it, even, even yeah. when she was older and, and, and failing, she was, it was always her favorite place. And what has she told you about her childhood there? You know, about the time before she came to the city of Salzburg? Um, not very much, actually. But she, she said that they used to take a boat across to get to go shopping and so forth, and then come back because the road wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. 
hiking up behind to ski down. Is that is it was that the Erlhof or no, was that No, that was here. here. Okay. Yeah. That was here because when when my family was living in Eigen, uh, the land between our villa and the mountain was all open fields. Mm -hmm. And of course that's all subdivided now in in uh, housing. Mm. And what was your favorite thing to do as a child in Eigen in, in your in your leisure time? Well, I only lived in Eigen for three months in the summer of 1950 after we came back uh, for the summer. Uh, I learned to ride a bicycle there. <laughs> <laughs> where, where I lived, we didn't have any pavement or any good place to ride a bike, so I, I didn't learn to ride a bike. But here I did. Mm -hmm. He was born in the States. He was the only one born in the States. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, is there something uh, in Austria, in Salzburg, that you would like to take along with you to the US, but you know, something that can't be removed, like a, a chair or something, something else with you? Of course, the, the Gemütlichkeit <laughs> von, von Österreich. Das ist, was wir versuchen in, in Stowe zu re rekreieren, sagt man, to recreate. Re ja, rekonstruieren. Rekonstruieren, ja. danke. Mm -hmm. Ich muss sagen, ich habe jetzt zwölf Monate oder länger fast kein Deutsch gesprochen. Kompliment. <lacht> also, good, huh? mm -hmm. jetzt yeah. kommt es langsam wieder. It sounds very Austrian, yeah. very familiar to us. Yeah. Good, mm -hmm. thank you, danke schön. I, I love, you know, when you talk about the food and the architecture, going into restaurants that are, you know, or you see houses that are built into the, the mountainside. Um, it's unique. And, and for us in America, it's, um, it's so unique. And to have the history here and to, to build into the mountain, is, uh, it's really beautiful and really neat to see. Mm -hmm. I, I brought some American employees to Austria in the 80s. And uh, uh, we went into the Peterskeller. And so we sat down and I said, now this is a very old restaurant. And, one of the men said, yeah, I saw the sign over the door. It said 18-0-something. I said, no, it was 8-0-something. I said, Charlemagne ate here. Uh, he didn't know who Charlemagne was, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so the, the, you know, the, the 2,000 years of history here is... Uh, is, is imponiert an him, Sean. It's very impressive. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, have you ever thought about moving back to Austria? No. I love Austria. I could never live here for very long because there are too many rules and regulations. <laughs> Have you told this to the mayor of Salzburg today? No. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the the, the wonderful thing of a long history is, is fabulous, but it also in, brings about all these customs and rules and regulations that have to be followed. And um, there's so many people in a small place. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my mother would come over for a month or six weeks in the spring for many years. And then when she flew back, I would pick her up at the airport and she would get out and say, Johannes, I've been so froh, jetzt kann ich wieder atmen. <laughs> now I can breathe again. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And that's not meant critically, please. No, that's fine. No, we're used to being bashed. No, <laughs> no it's fine. <laughs> no, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.